Lubbock just keeps growing with a tier one university, great home prices, and a music and art scene that's gaining national recognition. There's no surprise that more and more businesses and people want to call Lubbock home. But some parts of our infrastructure just can't keep up. And KLBK's Brenna Lipinski spoke to some local officials to talk about the need for road expansion. Car after car flies through the intersection of 114th and Quaker, and city officials say it's due to new business growth. Businesses new to the north of HEB as well as back to the south, and everything associated with that Walmart Academy development we've seen. We expect that to continue to grow, especially as it approaches Loop 88. Mayor Pro Tem Steve Massingale says the city of Lubbock has two projects underway. One that will expand 114th between Quaker and Slide to five lanes. We expect to see construction on that start this year. And the other project would expand the stretch between Quaker and Indiana to five lanes as well. But it won't start until fall of 2022. We had some help from our MPO on that project. That's the Metropolitan Planning Organization. Uh, the city's going to pay 20% of that and the federal funds are going to fund 80% of that. Laren Stammer, a local realtor, says real estate in the area is growing. These homes are being purchased and people are moving into them as quickly as possible. I mean, the builders cannot build them fast enough. And says with all the new people moving in, there's just not enough room on the roads. Now you've got businesses, you've got neighborhoods, you've got kind of everything in, in one lane each way is not even close to enough. Massengill says the new construction is more than just for the convenience of drivers. This is a safety issue and when it's done it'll be safer for the vehicular traffic and also have sidewalks and provide for pedestrian and bicycle traffic. And with construction on the way he tells folks to drive with caution. When you see construction begin slow down you know and if, if you're familiar enough with the area you might um, predetermine some alternate routes. Brenda Lipinski, KLBK News.